Hello from the kids' story room. I'm just sneaking an extra weekend wonky wardrobe poem, just for fun. We've had another lovely review from Randy Miles in America. Randy says, Great for car rides. I listen to these episodes while driving with my granddaughter. Very entertaining. Thanks so much, Randy. Yes, the car is our favourite listening zone too. It makes being stuck in traffic much easier. Now to our next item in the wonky wardrobe. A dancing dress. Daisy's Dancing Dress by Anastine. Daisy had a favourite dress. It was green and blue and pink. The best thing about this dress? It was cleverer than you'd think. The dress made Daisy dazzle in a most remarkable way. Whenever Daisy wore it, she danced away the day. This dress knew how to foxtrot, to tango, waltz and jive. When Daisy was wearing it, she felt tingly and alive. She sashayed down the hallway and salsaed into town. When she reached the mall, she spun the whole way down. Daisy pirouetted through the schoolyard and hip-hopped into class. She zumbered through her maths test and was pretty sure she passed. The recess bell brought on a polka, then some country and western swing. Her classmates were most impressed with Daisy's highland fling. She Irish jigged through English and science made her tap. Her teachers wanted to be cross, but instead they had to clap. Daisy's dancing was excellent. She sure knew how to move. Before too long, the entire school was getting in the groove. During lunch, they danced the cha-cha, the lindy hop and tranky do. They all enjoyed the rumba, the quadrille and Charleston too. To give themselves a breather, they learnt a minuet, followed closely by a tarantella, which sure worked up a sweat. The bell rang for the end of school in the middle of the conga. No one wanted to go home. They wanted to dance longer. The teachers called the parents and invited them along. They decided to have a disco, a mighty dance-a-thon. They danced into the evening, mums and dads and grandfolks too. It was the most fun they'd ever had when they did the boogaloo. Daisy was at the centre. Her dress knew all the styles. Everyone watched and followed her lead. They couldn't hide their smiles. There was lots of fancy footwork, a little pop and lock and crump, some moonwalk and funky chicken, and a few spectacular jumps. By sunset, Daisy's dress was sleepy. They'd been dancing hard all day. Her dress stopped during the nutbush and changed to a gentle sway. Suddenly, they all felt tired. It was time to get some rest. They went home happily. The day had been... The best. Daisy carefully put her dress away. This was definitely one to keep. She rubbed her feet, climbed into bed and fell into a deep, deep sleep. Thanks for listening to the Kids Story Room. We love having you with us.